Hey everyone, what's up? How are ya? Hope you're fine. My name is Anya and welcome back to the Loth Nolder Reading Simulator. <laughs> okay, this is where I last left off the last time. A whole lot of reading to do again. Oh god. And clues to find, so... Yeah, let's go. Oh wait. There. Okay. In my teenage years, it was my only joy to examine and roam through places where rumors had been spread. Human lifestyle was not for me. I always searched for the ways, uh, for the ways of the inhuman. I visited old cemeteries full of dread, old ruined buildings, and spent most of my time in these places which were stuffed no wait, which were suffused with the black veil of myth and rumors. One day, I bought a sound recorder and started to record the environmental sounds of these desolate places where I'd been spending my time alone. Fairly soon, I had a large collection of recordings. Some nights, when I couldn't sleep, I used to put my headphones on and listen to those sounds which seemingly did not belong to this world. When carefully heated, the sounds almost materialized to be touch genius loci uh, could be heard. Damn it, I wanted to look up if it's Loki or Loki. Uh, when my secret treasure trove was discovered by my family because Jonathan blabbed about it, all my recordings were destroyed. Oh god, no. They forced me to go to a psychologist for one year? Come on. There's nothing wrong with recording sounds. Ugh. I can still remember how Jonathan used to call me ghoul around that time. Anyway, against all odds, I never abandoned this. I think I can say passion. Men never abandon the things that are bound up in their hearts, even if they are suppressed. They never forget. When I was just 22 years old, Jonathan and I became solely responsible for my father's company. I had no time whatsoever for anything else but work. I was so happy when I took over the company from my father. I will never forget that period of my life. Today, I bought myself a new tape recorder. As I said earlier, I would never abandon my passion. I can now pursue my interests in a serious and mature way without the recklessness of youth. Hmm. Maybe that's, that's the first clue, huh? A new tape recorder? And we can find it somewhere and... The, these notes describe... What? No? Oh, never mind. Well, okay, let's read on then first. <coughs> Excuse me. Cassette number one. Record number one and two. Old and now unused Moreland Cemetery, Brangston. Brangston is a small old town which was established 18 miles northwest of the city center of Wellsmouth. The farms, which are situated whilst going to the north, are as old as the town itself. There are stories which have been told for a long town for a long time about a tomb in an old and now unused cemetery called Moorland Cemetery that is situated right in that old part of Brangston. It is said that some nights strange noises and indescribable disgusting smells come from within that tomb. Some people who use the rough pathway which passes 150 meters west of the Moorland Cemetery real, uh, relate that they saw some torturously twisted silhouettes oh that's creepy and heard some howling screaming and squeaking sounds that they couldn't identify oh i would oh. i went uh okay I'll, I'll, I'll try to i'll make it short i was um when i was 14 or 15 i was staying at a friend's house for a couple of nights or days and nights because she lived a bit further and one night we had been out and we took a shortcut over the cemetery god that was one of the creepiest i don't know 10 minutes of my life nothing happened you know nothing that was really scary it was just the presence of of no not the presence the 
just the atmosphere it was so oh god no and she was like oh why are you scared there's nothing you know to worry about come on i i go here all the time when i uh, take a shortcut and blah blah and i was like ah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah the good old days <laughs> okay back to the game um I started my recordings here at about 2.48 a.m. It was so dark and overcast that it was almost impossible to see the surroundings. I used a small flashlight, but I had to be very cautious because of rumors about some grave robbers who plunder the old graves by spreading all the bones round in a disgusting, inhuman manner. The metallic half open door of the notorious tomb had some figures and half reliefs similar to rod to Rod, <laughs> to Rodaz, the gates of hell. Oh, I know how that look, looks like. It was rested and had started to crumble away, the effect of the passing years. The spacious interior smelled really awful. The cover of the stone tomb was broken and the interior was visible through an opening. The floor of the tomb had collapsed into a wide underground hole. I heard that during the strong earthquake four years ago, some parts of Brangston collapsed into underground holes or caves. I think the same earthquake was the reason for the collapse of that tomb. I recorded both the interior of the tomb and the building surrounding it. Hmm. Oh, I thought he was gonna write something about what kind of recordings or, well, what was on the recording, so, huh? oh well. Record number three, in a cave near the Northwood Forest. The whereabouts of this cave, which is located three miles away from the notorious Northwood Forest, is not widely known. It is connected to some other caves that form a complex underground network. It is rumored that a lot of people have become lost inside and never returned. Some people claim that they have seen fires inside and heard some sinister sounds coming from the depth of the cave at night. Uh, record number four, by the dig in my cellar. Some sounds are coming from the well in my cellar. I don't know what lies beneath it or the reason for its construction. From the top of the well, I used a flashlight to examine the well, but it was too deep for me to see the bottom. The sounds coming from below make me think that there are some animals down there. I believe that it must connect to a tunnel that leads outside somewhere. Why does he, he tie a light to a string and... You know, let's the, let the, um, lowers the light into the well. Record number five in my bedroom. For some time, I have been woken up by squeaking, trembling, and slight wind, uh, wind sounds whose source I can't identify. Well, squeaking, I would always go with mice or rats or I don't know, do raccoons squeak? Several times, hardly suppressing my fear, I roamed the house but couldn't find anything out of the ordinary. It's said that in houses this old, these noises are com these noises are common. I guess I just have to get used to it. Record number six and seven in the well. I decided to examine the well because the workers I hired for restoration left the job half done due to some sounds they claimed to hear from within the well. The rusty ladder that I hadn't dared brave before was my only avenue. I bought a strong fra flash light. What? I bought a strong flashlight to inspect the interior. I decided to record some sounds down there, but I could only record some sounds in the room that the tunnel leads to. When I listened to the recordings later on, I noticed some def some defects. There were some deep noises and rumblings on every recording. I think that the dirty and choking atmosphere of the well caused my recorder to malfunction. Record number 8 through 10 in Ivor's place. I had an opportunity to make some recordings in the worm-eaten place which Ivar, Ivar and some other friends of his are using as a meeting place. 
When I told Ivar that I wanted to make some recordings, he preempted me with a strange, disturbing smile on his face by saying that he was sure that I would succeed in making great recordings. That building, which seemed so strangely strong whilst showing the signs of rottenness all over, made me feel very uneasy. Christopher T. Dredden, one of the three men in that meeting, apart from Ivar and me, told me that this place was built by an unknown witch. I couldn't be sure as to whether he was being serious due to the sardonic smile perpetually on his wizened, white wizened, thin, long and pale face whilst he spoke to me. Hmm. Okay. I would go with the unknown witch being some sort of clue. These notes describe... Well, I'm... Well, fine. Uh, maybe the house? Wait. That building? Uh. No? Uh, fine. Then the Christopher T. Dredden? Ah, there you go. Hmm, someone named Christopher T. Dr Great, I missed it again. Wasn't fast enough. Yeah. Um, maybe this place? No? Great. Oh, that was a hidden clue. And I still have to find... Uh, Uh, let's try the well. No. <clears throat> this cave, let's see. No. The well of my cellar. Order again without the new. No. What was this here again? Research pages. Ah. Oh, Mr. Field's life changed when he took over his father's company at the age of 22. That's a clue? Seriously? These notes pertain to cassette number one. That's a clue? Okay. I definitely have a different understanding of clues than this game has. Anything here? No. Nothing here either? Ivar's place. Mr. Field made some recordings while he was at Ivar's house. What? This is a good clue. Okay. Weird. Um, alright. So, let's check out his brain. Is there anything to think about? No? Uh... Uh, mentioned cassette number one. Huh, no, nothing to think about there. Okay. Um, can we look at anything else here? No. Um, what had I inspected so far in the last recording, damn it. I think we had looked at the whole bookshelf and it just said something about old. 
books. So let's see. Can we? What 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 was here? What is this? This showcase is empty. I wonder what strange things were displayed here. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> Was that a briefcase? It's locked. Of course it is. here no at least not from where we're coming from oh wait what's that what's that note on the floor why can't I oh I can't reach it but then I guess it's not important huh okay we had looked at this in the last this note is about a manuscript, an indication of the strange interest Mr. Fields, hold, uh, Fields holds. No, we haven't looked at that then. But that's the closest we can look at it then. Okay. What's with the phone? Oh. Nothing? What was that sound as if someone's... Oh, the African, a carved wooden mask, one of many <clears throat> displayed here. Yeah, we, we had that already. Um, oh, can we check the... No. Hmm. Can't check the table. All right, and we had everything else here, okay. Um, huh? Where are we now? Did we, did we check this room the last time? No, I don't think we did. An unreadable paper, oh thank god. <laughs> this clock stopped at 6.55 a.m. Pieces of paper and furniture are randomly scattered around. Oh, okay, same. out the desk well it's not really a desk is it no but we can't okay whoa what's this here oh something to read again the case of Alfonso Rugger Summarized below are the known psychological problems caused by taking the hallucinogenic mixture called uh, Dversahi dver during a heightened emotional state, e.g. excessive anger, worry, fear, etc. These psychological problems can sometimes be extremely harsh and can even lead to permanent madness. It is known that some esoteric ethnic groups use the secret mixture in their religious rites and festivals. A typical example of this can be found in the notes of the famous occultist and philosopher Alfonso Rugger, dated October 2, 1833. His notes cover the period of time from the 11th of October 1832 to the time of his death on the 12th of November 1833. For more information, please refer to the book 
towards Sahe, a black void, which relates his experiences with towards Sahe, or however you pronounce that, and was compiled after his death from his handwritten records. Up, uh, October 2nd, 1833. After extensive trials, I can say that it, Dwar Sahe, has profound effects. Its ability to alter consciousness is unbelievable. Unfortunately, my detailed research has only uncovered a few fragments of information about this mixture. Even though its effects are short-lived, the experience is very powerful. It is difficult to describe, but I would say that it pushes the soul to its very limits. I must add that I feel a strange sensation from it, as though it creates an emptiness inside the body. But of course, these are very vague descriptions of my experience. Perhaps someone else would describe it differently. Okay. Some of the rooms, including this one, have only been partially restored. The furniture has been placed haphazardly. I just wish it would not be so damn dark. Some rope. All right, I was just gonna say, well, take it. We probably need it for the the well, because I'm pretty sure we'll be ugh, having to climb down that thing. Great, I cannot see anything. Nothing in here, huh? Um, okay, now, uh, uh, have we checked up? Checked up. Checked out all of the upstairs now? Or, uh, wait, there was. Is this where we came upstairs here? Yeah. Hmm. It's locked. Um, okay, now where to? Wait, I think we have been in here, haven't we? Oh, yes, we have. Oh, I don't want to go down there again. Let's, let's see first if we missed anything up here, huh? Although we were in here. And there wasn't really... Oh wait, what's with these doors? Are those the ones that are... The door is locked. Ugh. Isn't that the one that's blocked from the outside, or is there another one behind this thing here? I don't know, but the door, it, it, would, it could be seen then. It's higher, uh, taller than that. 
was with the fireplace that thing there I know we looked at that picture as well all right and we could look at these paintings but there was nothing about them hmm. okay now wait then let's go back out into the uh did this door just open no it just sounded like it and then ah creepy <laughs> why can't we go in into here that looks like another room um okay wait let's no there's nothing in our brain going off huh Strong sun. Oh crap, I forgot to check out what Harmel is. Oh, it's a plant! Okay, that has entheogenic properties. It is used in some regions of the world as an air and mind purifier. Is it a real plant or just made up for the story? Shovel with wet mud. Um, let me see. No hints available. Great. <laughs> What's the plus? Add to combined slots? Oh, okay. Hmm. Still locked. Oh, fine. Wait, did we find any new keys? A rusty key to the house and the car keys. Um, nothing more yet okay well let's go downstairs again maybe that key is for down there there was a locked door wasn't there it's locked uh wait how did this go no um Um, so did we use it? Oh, yes, we did. Great. Oh, so this is the well, I guess, huh? Nothing here, nothing there. Oof. This must be the well which Mr. Field mentioned in his notes. Strange. When I was a child, my father told me some stories and myth about wells and blah, blah, which can be found in some very old houses. Okay, wait. What was the well in them, too? Oh, okay. I wonder what Mr. Wait, what? There's The ladder seems old and decrepit. I don't think that it will support my weight. It goes on. This must be the well which was mentioned in his notes. Okay, my father told me some about myth and well and caves. Okay, which can be found in some very old houses. What could the reason be for having such a frightening well inside the house? And some myths tell that a number of other houses have a well in them too. I wonder what Mr. Field felt when he first saw this. Hmm, so can we... Some rope I found in a partially restored room on the second floor it looks wrong can we use it on the well no we can't um do we have anything else uh no oh 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 wait now the brain is flashing give a hint Something in the house may help Howard to descend the well shaft. Rooms that, ha that have not been fully restored may contain such items. Yeah, well, that's what I was just thinking with the rope. But... Um... I can click all over the place and, uh... No. Huh. Hmm. Okay, we have to go back out and look for something else. There was nothing here we could look at closer. 
We got the, the scent thingies. Yeah, ruined harmal. So can we take the shovel? No. So crap, what did I miss? What else would be there? That can help me with that well. Wait, was this here? Be was that stain? Was that there before? It's still locked, okay. Hmm. Wait, should we go upstairs again? That's also still blocked. Wait, no, let's go. Let's go upstairs again and see what I missed. Oh, that light perhaps? No? I thought, you know, take the light, tie it to the rope, but no, I can look at this area, but there's nothing there. Why? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> hmm. That I don't understand. Now, what's, what's the use of this? And... Yet, I can't do anything here. Can I use the rope on this here? No, I can't. Hmm. Um, where was the other office here? Uh, no, there. And here's the same thing. Uh, oops. I can I can inspect this area, but there's nothing there. Hmm. Ugh. We heard. Uh, Had that in the last no oh god I always right click wanting to go back with it. What was with this pot thingy here? This pot looks authentic. Can we I don't know combine the rope with the pot? No. Oh. oh good grief. <laughs> there. There's nothing here again as well. Oh god, those creaking noises, it always sounds... And again! Hmm. Is that just built in the game for irritation? These large library books who subterrage from. Oh, yeah, okay, we read that in the last episode. Oh, God, it again. I thought we m might find the tape somewhere. Oh, right, this thing is. This is the house key, you know. How do I open this? It's locked. And I don't have anything. Hmm. To pry it open with. And the empty showcase. Huh. Oh, 
those are doors as well. Right, oh right, I was in here before as well, but couldn't make out anything as well here. Alright, and I think I did not read this because it was just way too long again. Oh, crap. What was in here? Nothing. I searched through all those before and there was nothing there. I hate it when I get stuck so quickly and then just redo everything to find some teeny tiny little detail in some corner that I overlooked. This wardrobe is locked. Great. off already and I did absolutely nothing in this episode here. There was nothing here as well except for that rope and we took it. And now that the well is telling me I have to, or you know what I mean, is telling me I have to look something, I have to look for something upstairs that will help me climb the well. Like, duh. Moth. Okay. Whoopsie. not flashing. I guess I'm gonna end this episode here. Sorry, it was kind of boring. Hmm. And, uh, yeah. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to do a whole lot of searching around again in the next episode then. Nonetheless, thank you guys uh, for watching. I hope you didn't fall asleep while doing so. Have a great day, great night, and uh, hope to see you in the next episode, eh? <laughs> Bye!